Hello, my name is Dr. Nitin Olaf and I'm a faculty member in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at IIT Roper. Uh, my area of research is uh, the multiprocessor scheduling. Uh, scheduling uh, of tasks on CPUs has been a well-defined uh, and well-researched problem. It is also conceptually quite challenging and in all but the simplest of cases, it's been proven to be NP-complete. In our group, we are looking at uh, various scheduling algorithms uh, for uh, precedence constrained tasks on uh, heterogeneous multiprocessors. So the uh, processors are heterogeneous in that uh, they have uh, different kinds of hardware or different capability. Uh, that means uh, from the point of view of execution of the task, uh, each task can have different execution um, cost on a different uh, CPU. So the challenge is uh, given this set of tasks with the precedence constraints, we have to uh, devise um, novel and efficient uh, algorithms uh, that schedule these tasks uh, based on a certain performance uh, requirement. So essentially in our group we are looking at uh, the usage of uh, task duplication. So what we do is uh, in this is uh, that whenever we have tasks communicating with each other and somehow uh, they get assigned to different CPUs. So then there is some communication uh, delay between the tasks in that uh, once a task is done and it needs to convey the results one other task then uh, it has to make use of the communication channel and based on the bandwidth and speed available uh, there is some delay associated. So what we uh, plan to do is or what we are looking at uh, doing is uh, trying to duplicate that task on either CPU. So on either CPU we have extra uh, scheduled whole or computing power available to us. So then we can uh, probably communicate um, that predecessor task so that once it's duplicated, uh, then the communication delay will not be there and then the tasks can start and hence finish earlier. So if they start early, they also finish early and hence uh, the final uh, schedule length improves. So we're trying to essentially look at uh, how we can use duplication to minimize the schedule length of uh, an application on uh, heterogeneous parallel multiprocessors. As far as the usage of these algorithms is concerned, they can be used in, uh, one example is in uh, distributed systems in which there is an er inherent delay in the communication of results uh, from one task to the other. So one example that comes to mind is audio, uh, video on demand. So we strongly believe that a proposed algorithm can increase the schedule schedulability of uh, uh, these sort of applications in which uh, we have a transmission of audio and video frames. So again here what happens is uh, based on certain frame rate uh, the server transfers the audio and video so depending on the sort of bandwidth available. So we feel that by employing duplication uh, we can improve the inherent quality of service and uh, there will be a lesser lag and uh, jitter uh, among uh, successive frames and it will be a more smooth experience for, uh, from the user. So we also another area in which uh, these algorithms can be used in is in, uh, is in real time systems in which there is a deadline associated with each task. So we have to ensure that uh, not only does the task finish uh, correctly, but it also finishes uh, by its deadline. So again, uh, by using duplication, if we ensure that we reduce the interprocessor communication among uh, uh, communicating tasks, then uh, uh, certain tasks can start early and hence finish early. And therefore, uh, uh, a task which was initially uh, missing its deadline because it was finishing later can now use in duplication because it can finish early. Uh, it's uh, essentially it's, its deadline can be met. So essentially using duplication a larger number of uh, tasks can meet the deadline. So uh, we also feel that uh, duplication based uh, scheduling algorithms can be used in a wide variety of real time systems as well with uh, soft uh, as well as hard deadlines. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.